guys here we go we got two little new projects that we are going to work on today we have a little bowl um i want to say it's about the size a nice little um personal size salad bowl i would guess you can use this for because you know you can't heat this up in the in the microwave or anything but it will be cute to have just a cute little you know little salad bowl and a little um you know a little saucer to go with it so that's what we're gonna work on today y'all go ahead and hit that like button subscribe notification bell so that you can be up up you can be updated when we upload new content my goodness i'm stumbling with my words today but that's okay you guys know what i'm talking about also go over to tiktok at paler made art and follow me over there, guys, so I can go live. We can do some lives together. You guys can follow me over there as well. And, uh, yeah, let's make it do what it do, okay? Also, um, Facebook, I am Power, what is it? Power underscore projects underscore CEO. Everything will be listed in the video. And also on Instagram under I am underscore Kia P. But just, up, yeah, everything is listed. Everything is listed. Go over there and follow me. And thank you guys so much so far for following me. Okay, so I've already pre-mixed up 12 ounces just to kind of save time. Um, so I didn't have to mix it on camera. I'm going to lay something out right here because I know. And then I have two separate situations that I want to work on. So first I want to I got an idea that I want to do for the rim of both of them. Cuz I kind of want this to look luxury if I may if I may say. Yeah, luxury I think maybe about 4 ounces. Maybe what is that? 4 um I, yeah, almost 4 ounces here. We'll put Four ounces in this one, and then I want to do some white, and then I'll come back and do, I think, um, hmm, some clear, just a little, just a little bit of clear to top it off in the middle. So just in case if I want to add a name or something, I can do that. Y'all know I like to personalize stuff. I like to personalize everything or some things. I'm going to put a little bit more clear in there. And then this, what I say? Glitter well, and white. Okay. And then this will be my white. So... All right. The one, this one, I'm going to add... It is a glitter. Where is it? I have a pretty glitter. Well, maybe I used to have a pretty glitter. And I don't have any more of it. <clears throat> I might not have any more. But I was thinking some gold flakes. But it don't look like I have that particular glitter. So I'm going to use this different one. And then I'm going to use some gold foils for the next layer. But it's, it's really glittery. I think that'll work. This is like a chunky, chunky glitter type situation. I think... I think this will work because I don't see the other one. And I probably just don't have any more. Okay, so we go on with this. I mean, I have to get some more of it because it used to be really glittery. Like, so pretty and expensive looking. But I think this going to do the job. 
we gonna hope it do. Okay, so we're gonna stir these up. And get them out on my big mixing sticks. Push that down in there and stir it pretty good. I'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see. And you know when you pour glitter, it just kind of falls to wherever it's going to fall. It don't really float around. It falls because it's kind of heavy. Unless maybe you don't put a lot or I don't know. Or you need to put a lot to make the resin more heavy, more dense. But okay, here we go. So I'm going to pour... Like that. And I think I'm going to push it. Let's kind of get it to go. All around. That's why I only want to pour it like on one side. And then it'll kind of even out. At least that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I do need to pour it around on some of the other sides. So this is my first time working with a bowl mold. So we're going to see how it would go. Guess I probably do need to pour it. So that the other sides can get some too. Let's see what it does. Let me turn it. See how it's looking. Okay, okay. It's looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit more glitter than what I wanted, but that's okay. All right, so now we're going to do the plate. And it just kind of go. I'm just going to go all the way around it so that it can just start falling. Sorry, guys. If y'all heard her, she was probably yelling at the dog. <laughs> okay, so this is running pretty good. I'm trying to get it in there. 
gonna fill up pretty good with or evenly around the rim some of that glitter down up in there and out the way I'm going to try to come back and clean it out before I pour the next couple of ones try to just kind of move it out the way okay that's looking like it's filling up around the rim okay so now I'm going to get a white a little bit more glitter than what I wanted but we're going to see how this do I don't know I might have to get a somebody suggested a lint roller so maybe I I don't know if I can use it now because it's so it's wet Trying to just move the glitter out the way. dry paper towel, see if that'll do it. Uh, it's just not wanting to move. Okay. That's not working. At least the wet one will move it a little bit. kind of move them. I just want the center of the plate to be clear of glitter. If possible. And I might not need well, I think that's what's going to make it look cute the gold foil but I kind of want to do it anyway but I got an idea okay the plate is is probably as good as we gonna get it but it's pretty clear okay let's work on this bowl I'm on a limited time because my resin is still like doing what it do. Where is she at? My little African lady. Okay, y'all hold tight. Okay, we back, we back, we back. Okay, so next we gonna do, I think the white, which, yeah. Okay, where's my white? I'm gonna use this opaque white. It's 
stir that in really, really good. that paint up really really good Let's see how this what this do from there. And then I'm gonna spot it's clear right there in the middle. See how this what this do. The white is gonna probably come to the center anyway because that's just what that's just how it how it dries. Okay, here we go. Just going to finish out this with this white. Put the rest of this in here. that up out scoot that about Okay, and then I'm going to pour, again, some clear right in the middle. Okay. 
me see how tall we are. Okay. We still got a little bit of room left to not overflow it. We're going to see how this do. How this comes out. And I think this is called the irregular bow mold. Okay, so we're going to come back in a minute. Hold tight. All right, guys, we are back with our bowl and our plate. We are going to demold and see what we have. So here we go. I'm super excited to see how this came out. That is so pretty. And that is the plate. That is so cute. Super, super cute. Okay, let's get to the bowl. Let's see what the bowl looks like. And that is the ball. And it's it's pretty sturdy. You probably can eat like a little small size salad out of here. Or and it's it's the irregular bowl size, so maybe like a small salad. Um I don't know if it will if it will hold anything hot, but I think that is super cute. Um, a piece of cake, and there's your bowl. And I'll show y'all the finished product. Make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe notification bell, so that you can be notified when we upload new content. That is so pretty. Okay, so there you have it.